Welcome to Bruce the Bros. My name's Mike. I'm a professional beer drinker. And I'm Brian, also a professional beer drinker who worked at a cold beer and wine store. This week we are featuring Caribou Genuine Lager. Did you notice our new branded Bruce the Bros t-shirts? A special shout out to super fan Rob Dodd who gifted us these great t-shirts. Thanks buddy. We also want to give an apology to one of our newest subscribers, Richard. Um, we tried to, to, to who subscribed, who requested milk, left hand milk stout. We will do it in the future when it's back available in stock. We did try to find it. Now, let's clam it. Will this be a parallel of Plamato? Stay tuned and please don't forget to hit subscribe and notification bell for future content. Mike, let's crack open a can. Well, mind if I do, buddy. Uh, you never ask, Brian. Get down to the beer, the good stuff that we're drinking later. Now, here's some background. Pacific Western Brewing Company is an independent homegrown brewery out of Prince George. Pacific Western Brewing was established in 1957 and has been brewing great beer over 60 years. The Caribou brand has built a loyal following by a dedication to brewing a quality product at a fair price. For the appearance. If you ever get that poured in. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful golden color. <clears throat> With happy bubbles and a good head. Now for me, for the appearance for me, it's a nice golden color. It's sorry, for me, the genuine, genuine caribou, genuine lager has a fair head, a golden caramel sheen to its pleasant appearance. Over the smell. Pretty good. A little hoppy, maybe a little spearmint. For me now, it smells like a nice floral lager complete with an apple scent. What a surprise. A lager smelling like an apple? Again? Ha 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 ha. Not for my nose. For the taste. That's the switch. Kind of For the taste, a cool, crisp taste with tiny bubbles that tickle my tongue. At 5% alcohol, the caribou goes down easy, and it's my wife's favorite beer. That's interesting. Um, yeah, for me, I can detect a, a light taste of apple, still, just like in the scent, and a slight afterbite. A floral hops to caribou's lager's taste. Here's a fun fact. Over the past two years, Caribou Cares Initiative has been responsible for planting, for the planting <clears throat> of more than 170,000 spruce and lodgepole pine seedlings in BC. Not ready to plan yet. <laughs> Mike, let's have another swig. All right. We're at that part of the vlog already. Mm. And we'll have another one here. Mike, to clam or not to clam, that is the question. It certainly is. This is our beer parody, and this will be our clamlet of the night. Here's clam in your eye. And also in yours. We've had Clamato juice to this beer. Clamato is a combination of clam and tomato juice, more commonly known as a clamite. Now, here's to your health. And to yours. Thank you, Ryan. For the smell. <clears throat> I spill, smell spicy clam. <clears throat> no surprise. Oh, I smell spice and clam. No oh, surprise. Right. Glad you, you got it right that time. Spicy it's good. clam. It is a spicy mm. clam. I smell that too. For me, the ad clam has jumped into the mix and totally splashed out all the apple scent. What's left behind is a pleasant floral hoppy, pleasant floral hops and a full garden fragrance aroma. The taste. Way better than last week. Mm. The caribou really kicks up the clam and spice 
making for an enjoyable drink. Now for the taste for me, I slight the clam has added a ray of sunshine to the mix and blended well with the caribou lager's floral hop signature. It adds nicely to the overall body of the beer, yielding a richness to its taste and texture. For our question, to clam or not to clam, this week I find this an excellent mix and I would do this all summer. What do you think, Mike? I agree with you this week. This, for me, it's a definite to clam and I pair these two again any day of the week. This week we would like to know your opinion in the comments section below. Tell us what you think of Carib Caribou Genuine Lager. Do you agree with us? Or not. It's a free country. <laughs> Next week on Bruiser Bros, we are featuring Red Racer IPA. So everybody grab a Red Racer and join us next Sunday for a beer. Yes. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Let us know if there's a beer that you would like us to try in the comments below. If we choose your beer, we will give you a shout out in a future episode. Well, good night everybody. Good night, Brian. Good night, Mike. Same time, same place next Sunday on Brews with Bros. On Brews with Bros. Good night.